I asked some people on Instagram what were their unpopular opinions on Disney's very famous production company, Pixar. And today we're going to respond to their comments on why they feel the way they feel and go into an in-depth discussion about the movies that they're talking about. Just like I did with my should we watch movies with expectations video, I decided to take screenshots over on Instagram because I put up some polls over on Instagram story and on my feed post on Instagram asking people what did they think is their unpopular opinion on Pixar. So I'm going to go ahead and go through all of these screenshots and see what movies it is that they're going to talk about. I already see two comments that talk about the movie Incredibles 2. This guy said, I just didn't enjoy it. The story and villains are weak. It's over reliant on on Jack Jack moments. Another person said, my own fault really due to my stupidly high expectations. The first one came out when I was only nine and I loved it so much. I still like the sequel, it just didn't have the same effect on me like 14 years later. Okay, so I guess I can figure out what it is that these guys are talking about, but it's a little hard for me to understand because I actually like Incredibles 2 a little bit more than the first Incredibles. I thought the animation was fantastic, it looked better than the first one, I think that the whole family was really good. I like the whole dynamic interaction that Mr. Incredible has with his son and daughter and a baby. I will agree that the villains are weak, that was one of the biggest problems with that movie. And I will admit, Jack-Jack is used more than he was in the first one, but I don't think that he was like overdone in this one, it seemed like that they used him as a sideline just to get some jokes out of the way because he wasn't used that much in the first one. But I do understand the expectations value. It goes along with what I said in the past video I made about should we go into a movie with expectations. If you want to go ahead and check out that video, please do so because I really like making that video. This guy has a hot take on The Good Dinosaur. My hot take is probably that The Good Dinosaur isn't the worst Pixar film. It's definitely on Pixar's lower side, but it gets more hate than it deserves. It just isn't as good. There is also something that I would like to point out about that comment. Um, the Good Dinosaur came out the exact same year that Inside Out came out, and that movie was way more phenomenal than The Good Dinosaur. So I'm going to take some kind of assertion and assume the reason why I think The Good Dinosaur had more critical negativity towards it was because Inside Out had all of its praises so high that we thought Pixar was going to do nothing but great films from now on. And when The Good Dinosaur came out, it had some negativity towards it, but it got more and more hate than it should have because the movie wasn't necessarily that bad. Now, as the movie itself, I don't really remember much from it. I remember watching it one time and not really remember anything. I remember it being really weird. There were some really weird scenes that they decided to do in the film that made me go like, what is this movie trying to do? But maybe it doesn't deserve as much hate if I do give it a rewatch. So, I don't know. We'll see about that. We actually have some unpopular opinions on Cars. One person said Cars is actually a good movie. The whole Cars franchise I couldn't care less about. One person said Cars 2 is actually the best Cars movie, and he also said, I think it's the most consistently funny, the animation is just as good as the others, and I just don't like the other two anyways. Okay, so that right there is a very big hot take because Cars 2 has been known to be the worst Pixar movie in that production company. And to say that person actually likes that movie than the other two, when really the other two are actually a lot more critically praised than that one, it's really unpopular. So I'm actually glad that somebody decided to say that because I really like seeing somebody being really that brave to go ahead and say that they actually like a movie that not a lot of other people actually liked. While I don't necessarily agree with his statement on Cars 2 being the best one, I do understand that it does carry out the most action and comedy in there. It seems as though that Mater being the funny person is used way more often in that movie, and since the movie is actually surrounded about Cars being secret agents and trying to blow other stuff up, it does provide a lot of action sequences which can entertain little kids. So I can understand that in an entertainment value, but for me, I feel like that's the reason why that that movie is honestly the worst in the Pixar industry, and that's because it isn't necessarily trying that hard to be a good movie. It's just throwing itself out there and trying to entertain kids and throwing a bunch of stuff that doesn't make sense whatsoever, only to have them sit down and be quiet for a little bit, when really it could have done something that's a little more challenging. It seemed like a really lazy idea in general just to make a movie that's just nothing about cars and nothing else. There isn't really much creativity that you could do with Joe 
jokes or character development or anything really deep and conflicting about it. I think the first Cars movie is not that bad. It's actually a fine, decent film. I haven't seen Cars 3, but I can say this. I do understand where people are coming from when they're talking about the first Cars movie not being that bad, or they think that Cars 2 is actually not that bad of a movie either. We have a few unpopular opinions about Ratatouille. I just find it boring and unfunny. The animation is good, but the rest is pretty bland. The only Pixar film that I don't like, what a stinker. The basic idea of a rat involved in food preparation, even in a cartoon, was disgusting to me. Here's what I will say about Ratatouille. I'm more on the side of saying that it's an underrated film, but I won't go ahead and ignore some of the flaws that are inside that movie. The concept of rat cooking food, I don't really find it to be disgusting unless you are that squeamish, then I can understand it, but I find that to actually be inventive since that rats are actually more surrounded by garbage and actually want to create food. I think that right there is a really creative idea, and I like that the site location is actually at Paris. However, my biggest problem in here is that the characters in here are not necessarily that memorable, and they are surrounded by a story that is a little bit cliche. So I can actually see why some people probably wouldn't be that interested in the movie, and maybe they would find the film to be a little bit boring. Here's one comment about Moana. Overall, plotline is pretty boring and expected, and The Rock makes every role a joke. I'm guessing that this person is not a fan of Dwayne The Rock Johnson's movies. <laughs> so, I totally understand what she's talking about. This story has been done before from Disney. A character who wants to go out and do something more, but that person won't necessarily let them go out and do it because they're afraid of what they might find on the real world. Destiny, exploring, it's something that I was born to do. We've seen that before in Disney movies, so I'm not necessarily surprised to see if some people are not really into this movie as much as others are. But for me, there's something that makes this film work because I really like the sight scenes, I really like the characters, I really like the music, and I really, really like the animation in here. Even with its cliche story, it felt like it added in something exciting, refreshing, and really fun to watch. Also, I am kind of a fan of The Rock's movies that he's doing now, so... Yeah, I'm kind of a sucker for the guy when he was in here. And the last one that we're going to talk about is Soul. Uh, this person said, Soul, because it's fresh on my mind, uh, reasons are in the review vid. LOL. Okay. I'm obviously going to cut some of this out because I just want to see what his negatives are. But unfortunately for me, I think the movie touched a bit too much on the message and didn't really rely on the sort of Pixar flair that Pixar is known for. The message of the film seems to take over the film's own narrative structure, making it not as funny as some of Pixar's funniest films and not as emotionally resonant because it just hits you over the head with this message instead of trying to tell it in a convicting story. Hmm. That's actually an interesting way of putting it. I mean, I think I understand what the guy is talking about and where he's coming from because the message is really strong. It is something that does make a huge distraction from all the other stuff in here. Like, the animation is fantastic and the imagination and the ideas. But when you really look at the characters and how you feel for them and how you get emotional for them, I mean, I, I'm a little conflicted on that because when I saw these emotional aspects of the guy's life, I did really feel for the man when it came towards the story at the last act. But is he like as memorable as say like Sully from Monsters Inc? Or say like Joy or Anger or Disgust from Inside Out? No, probably not. I think it's about the different perspectives of how you would want to look in the movie. When I want to watch this movie, I wanted to see something that was going to carry a great message with really good characters and fantastic animation, and that's exactly what I got. Surprise, it's me. I forgot to mention one more comment when I was filming that video, so I'm going to go ahead and make that the last one at the end of this video. And this person is talking about the movie Coco. I would probably say Coco because I do enjoy the movie, but not as much as a lot of other people do but not a bad movie overall. It's kind of complicated because I feel like the beginning was kind of slow and then the middle was starting to get interesting and then the ending was great, but I just felt like the beginning should have had more of an interesting beginning than a slow beginning. But I do like that scene where he was playing the guitar at his hometown. I actually do agree with the guy. I do think that Coco is not necessarily one of the better Pixar movies and the reason why is it's kind of the same reason why 
the same person who talked about Moana being overrated was not necessarily one of the best Pixar films in her opinion. I kind of understood what she was talking about because that movie was going by a formula and this movie, to me, felt like that formula was shown a lot more often even though it is a good film. I will agree that this is definitely one of Pixar's best animated looking movies and I do enjoy the songs and the kind of feeling that this movie has and I really enjoyed its message and there were times where I did feel for the characters but at the beginning and the middle portion of the film I kind of struggled a little bit to see some of that charm because it felt like that the movie was just at an average level of satisfaction and not necessarily something that was blowing me away like I did with Soul or Inside Out or Up or the Toy Story movies. And even though it makes me feel like that I'm being spoiled and I'm just nitpicking here and there, I feel like that if Pixar can be able to make me feel that emotional and other people were that emotional when watching that film, it didn't necessarily get me on that kind of level and I was a little disappointed when I did see the movie. So guys, that was me reacting to your unpopular opinions on the Pixar industry. What did you guys think about all of these unpopular opinions? Do you have any unpopular opinions about Pixar? Put them down in the comment section below and let's have a conversation about it. And like this video if you agree with what we say or dislike this video if you disagree with what we say. I don't mind the dislikes. I don't know about them, but I surely don't. So that is it I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be sure to see you in the next video.